One of the good things about mornings at the Children's Zoo is how peaceful it is. Nobody's really here yet. You hear the birds. We're going to go see Velcro, our giant anteater. Velcro! She doesn't like mornings. It's fine. Some people don't like mornings. No? Sometimes the sounds of the door moving makes her wake up. Velcro! No. Nope. We get to see her full length of the tongue. Usually when she wakes up in the morning, she does like her morning stretch like we do. We stretch in the morning, and she stretches her tongue like full length all the way out. Oh, hi! Come on! OK. You ready? You hungry? Big stretch? Oh, big stretch. Oh, you said you're a good girl. She's walking through. You shut the door. She's going over to her food. She's so cute. Giant anteaters are found in Central and South America. They're insectivores. They'll love to just eat any insect that they can find. Giant anteaters are a vulnerable species. Human populations encroach on their territory, and it's getting more difficult for these guys to survive in the wild. Oh, there he Here is. at the Children's Zoo, we can really showcase the anteater. Oh, he's so cool. And really allow children to build a bond with Velcro and build off of that to conserve them in the wild. Wee! What are you doing? Oh, he's a sweet girl. Mel has a great relationship with Velcro. Uh, she knows her better than anybody else does. Even in Mel's free time, she's looking for ways to make the environment more enriching and engaging for the animals. So she saw a social media post of this giraffe that is using its tongue and taking all this fruit from this container. It really allows the public to get a completely different view of how these animals eat. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to figure out some sort of enrichment that she will not only enjoy, but will also showcase the anteater tongue. Nice. Very nice. So she's going to be able to go on one side, stick her tongue in, and each one is going to have a tube that kind of goes in a different direction. So like one tube could go like this, one tube could go like that. Nice. <gasps> oh! So let's sand this side, because this is going to be her, her side. side. Velcro's going to love this. Essentially, the tubes are going to mimic the cavities that you'll find in termite mounds. And so that'll be on our side. And this will be what Velcro sees. We can load this up with treats. Her tongue can make that 90-degree turn. Her tongue is 18 inches to 24 inches. This will actually showcase her total length and her ability to make turns with that tongue. That looks really cool. I think she'll like it. Velcro! Velcro! Let me know where your side is. Okay. You put your side in and I'll match it. Okay. Is it Lock even? It We're good. <laughs> She's so cute. She's not even waiting for you to put it up? Yeah, she's already, like, coming over. So what do you load it with? Yogurt, crickets, and Great super yogurt. mealworms. She knows something's up already, man. Yeah. Anteaters are pretty smart. She's so cute. You got crickets now? She's got her tongue going. Oh, Look at that. Oh, yeah, already. Oh, who's a good girl? Now, does she make the... Turn? She does. I yeah, she she'll does. make the turn. She makes the Her turn. Her tongue makes that right angle turn. Yeah. There she goes. It's making that 90 degree right angle and then the 45 degree angle. That's pretty awesome. There she She's goes. going for the bugs. One. That's amazing. This could keep her busy for a long time. Keep me busy for a long time just watching her. <laughs> The real payoff here would be to use this as a demonstration when there are visitors here so they could see how the animal uses the tongue in this complex puzzle. Even though they can see her over here interacting with us, they can't get to appreciate how long her tongue is and how she uses her tongue. Yeah. People would love to see that. Bye. Thanks, bye. bye. Thank you. 
That was yeah, pretty cool. Yeah, I think cool. it'd be great to do that on exhibit. <laughs> I think it went well. I think it went really well. She seems to enjoy it. She, I think she ate pretty much everything. She definitely liked it. Right now, we're in the anteater exhibit at the Children's Zoo. They're setting up the base for the anteater enrichment that Mel and I constructed. We're hoping that we don't hit too many obstacles so the public can come by and see her in action today. Do something a little shorter and then put a turn on it for length. And that way we can get the length of her tongue without actually having to put the board too far out. We're just trying to figure out the best way to really give Velcro the most space inside the tubing, using the space that we have with the distance from the viewing glass. To see her tongue, like, doing what it's supposed to do, like, what it evolved to do, I think it's going to be really cool. I think the kids are going to be really excited. I think the public's going to like it a lot. Let's put these on really tight. This looks fun. Yeah. And it's not going to hit the glass? No, yeah. we're good. What do you have in there? Um, baby Angel. food, yogurt, and super mealworms. You go with it, Mel? Yeah, I think it looks good. I like the way it looks. Yeah, it doesn't look bad. She'll recognize that white board when she sees it. Yeah, I'm hoping. OK, everybody's out. Now Velcro's coming out. Velcro! Did she come over? Not yet, not yet. There she goes. Look at that tongue make that right angle turn. It's unbelievable. That's my favorite one, the one that you did the 290s with. Oh, yeah, that one's a cool one. It's really great when you take the time to design something and it works out exactly as you wanted it to. Well, look, 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 look. It's shooting all the way up that tube. The fact that the keepers came up with this device is great for the animal, but it's also great for the public. It helps their appreciation and understanding of the animals. And when they appreciate and they understand the animals better, then they're going to be more likely to work with us to save them. <laughs> she seems to like that yogurt. I don't know who brought the yogurt in, but they must have known what they were doing. I think it was my idea. <laughs>